Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Albers along with Tom Benassi for our second game, obviously playing the same team we played yesterday, Atlantic University. And, Tom, uh, we, we started that game off uh, – like Coach Ellis probably wanted with that charge, and it was a, it was just they came and went after it. Atlantis did right after UC Claremont kind of punched them in the mouth to get them ready, and I I, I think that maybe that'll help today to, to know what they're going to do. But I wondered if they're going to try to change anything up here today. Yeah, I, I'd be curious to see. I mean, yesterday they pretty much it was 40 minutes. They pressed them pretty much the whole time, full court. They they uh, put pressure on the ball handler coming up just about every time. They had a ton of fouls. They had a lot yeah. of foul trouble, but they managed it, and, and I think only two guys fouled out towards the end. So they did a good job there. But I'll be curious to see if that same intensity is there for today on the defensive end. I think offensively they'll be fine. But uh, same with Claremont. You know, a lot of energy. Yep. It was a physical game. You know, they let them play a little bit, even though there were a lot of fouls called. Uh, Claremont, 36 turnovers. That's pretty yeah. much you know, that, that's pretty much most of the story right there. Uh, Atlantis had 25. So it was a sloppy game. It was also the first game for both teams. Yeah. So, you know, you kind of expect a little bit of that. But uh, Claremont just didn't close. They had it in the bag, really. And uh, one one call really changed, yeah, it, the, changed the way that last two minutes played out. Yeah, it really did. That was that call that they called a moving screen on David Hunter. And that would have put them up seven or eight, I believe. And then after that, David Hunter fouls out, and then Josh Baker fouls yep. out, and and they just couldn't they just couldn't put it together. And they had a bunch of turnovers, and missed free throws. And the other thing too was I was really surprised at how, how many free throws they missed. Um, yeah, they missed eleven in the first half. They cleaned it up in the second half. And even though they missed that many, Dan, they got to the line so much more in the first half than Atlantis did. Atlantis only shot four free throws in the first half. Claremont shot twenty three. Yeah. So, really, the first half was more turnovers was the issue for Claremont rather than the free throws because they still had the advantage there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting because it was a physical game. And and uh, to come back the next day and play the same team, I think that's going to be a tough task. I really do. And then uh, we were talking with Coach Ellis before, uh, before this game. Then they've got to turn around on Wednesday and play another Very big opponent, team, St. Right. Mary's of the Woods. And from what we understand, they got two or three Division One uh, transfers in. So their schedule is uh, kind of brutal to, yeah. uh, to start the season with. Yeah, you know, and as long as the players realize that, uh, you know, you don't you don't want them getting down if you if you do have a couple losses early in the year. You got to realize that you know these are some of the best teams you're going to play during the season. So yeah, even if you don't win them all, you still got to keep your head up and keep plugging away because. It's going to help you in the end, no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I, I, you know, very impressed yesterday with uh, you know, Dalton Kramer, uh, you know, and also uh, thanks, guys. Dalton Kramer what was the other one. Uh, uh, blah, 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 Josh Morris Baker. Duffy yeah, played Josh really Baker. well too. Yeah, Morris Duffy. So you know, you had a lot of guys that played played really well. Yeah, I think Morris Duffy to me all around played the the best game of anybody. He was just outstanding. He put played a ton of minutes. And, uh, you know, he he, uh, he had his offensive moments great on the defensive boards. He had a bunch of assists. I, I just think he played all around. He played a fantastic game. Yeah, and, I, and I, you know, I, I mean, this is also good and bad. You know, it's kind of a really good teaching moment because you're playing them back-to-back. You've played them. Hey, this is what we got to do. And then you can see if you can right. correct it. And yeah. it's a, it's, it's a, I, so I think it's weird that you're playing a team back-to-back like this, but it's also a great way to really teach these guys well, what they of, need to do. One of the things you talked about before the game or at halftime yesterday was how often the coaches were saying, get it to the, to the middle. middle. Yep. And it just wasn't happening. Yep. And uh, so we'll see if today is a little different. And it looks like we're going to get ready to do the national anthem here.
All right. There is the national anthem. We're getting ready to start game two of this series between Atlantis University and UC Claremont. And hopefully, uh, I, I, I don't feel like you're going to see as many fouls as we did that first uh, match, Tom, like you said, compared to today. I, I, just, yeah. I just don't. I, I don't think so either. I think they're going to, and, and even yesterday in the second half, you saw them tone it down just right. a little bit. Atlantis on the Atlantis side, they weren't as much in your face all the way down to court picking up silly fouls. But, uh, yeah, for, for Claremont, they didn't do too badly on fouls. I know they lost Hunter and Baker towards the end, but other than that, they did okay. Yeah, so we're looking at the starting lineups here for we'll, – we'll get those here for you in a minute here. And we got one. All right, so for Atlantis University, you're going to have number zero, Keith Sh uh, Shakes. Uh, number one, Ty Tyler Francois. Number 11, Anthony Bowen. Number 12, Tyus, Tyus, excuse me, Tyus Williams. And number 55, Nico Landon will be the starters. For, and for UC Claremont, you're going to have the same starters you had yesterday. Number two, David Hunter. Number five, Dalton Kramer. Number 10, David Froge. Number 20, Josh Baker. And number 23, Jackson Gregory. So that'll be the starters for both teams. Again, I think they flipped in color and uniforms. You see Claremont will be in there all white, and Atlantis will be in there all red. Get Daniel Hennessy doing a nice job on his uh, <laughs> shakes and uh, trying to figure everything out. There we go. They just rounded out with Jackson Gregory. So we're getting ready to get started here. Yeah, so yesterday you had a quiet game out of uh, David Hunter on the offensive end. I think he only had uh, two or four, I in think. In the first half. In the first half. Yep. And yeah, so Fro it took a while for Froze to get going. Once he did, he did his usual, you know, ended up with 20. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, uh, like I said, clean up the turnovers definitely is going to be a major part of what today ends up being. Yes, it will. So we're getting ready to jump center here. It'll be Josh Baker and Keith Shakes. And it looks like Baker's going to get it from a tip from David Hunter. So we're getting ready to get started again. looks like they're going to be in a man-to-man. -man. Kramer gets it now to Baker. Over to Hunter. Kramer swings it around. That's David Hunter looking inside. they got 15 on the shot clock. Hunter's going to drive down. Nice. Off the glass up and in. All right. Quickly coming down the other way, and he's going to go out of bounds. They're going to call a foul, foul. I believe. Is that Gregory? Yep, foul's going to be on Gregory. That'll be his first. Team's first. Yeah, you definitely don't have to worry about any shot clock violations down here no. with Atlantis. Not at all. <clears throat> Get it up high to Francois. And we saw uh, Anthony Bowen was the one that uh, had a big game uh, yesterday. He loves to shoot that deep three, and he puts it in right there. Starts off where he left off yesterday. He had 25 yesterday. And I think that was a mismatch, too. I think David Froge was on, uh, was on uh, Bowen, so we'll see if that changes. Kramer's going to give it back now to Hunter. Hunter had him inside, didn't give it to him. Jackson Gregory's going to drive. Takes it, spins, turns, throws it up off nice. the glass, up and in. Good job by Jackson Gregory. So, again, this will be uh, Bowen. Our score here, 4-3, to three, UC Claremont early. Get it to Shakes down in the corner now. Bring it uh, back up. Oh. He almost had another one. Yep. Get it inside to Shakes. Shakes going to power his way up, puts it up and in. It's kind of what they did yesterday, too, Tom. They started off kind of quick, but you see Claremont this time is able to answer here early. Yeah, Keith Shakes definitely was the guy early in the first half for them, and then Bowen picked it up when foul trouble hit. Oh, David Froge could not make the three. And getting that loose ball on the ground was going to be Atlantis coming down to quickly the other way. It's going to be Francois. Carrying the ball. Going to bring it back up. Get it into Shakes in the middle. Got nowhere to go. He's going to bring it back out. Shot there by Williams is no good. 
17.58 to go here in this first quarter, first half. Moving out of Froze. Froze going to pull up, gives nice. it inside to Baker. Nice puts it up look. In. Nice look. Really nice look by David Froze. Going to make it nice, 6-5. to five. Again, it's going to be Bowen. Going to get it up high. To Layden, back over to Bowen. Trying to throw it inside. Nice. David Hunter's fighting for it. Nice hustle. David Hunter's got it. Grab it. There you Good go. Good job by Baker. Get control. Casey's. Charge. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call right there. Yeah. So Froge is going to come out. Barksdale is going to come in. So that does pick up a foul. That's going to be his first. Yeah, good hustle by David Hunter on that. And uh, keep his wits about him. Unfortunately, Josh Baker with a charge. Three-point shot on the way is no good. No. He's going to get his own rebound. Is Francois, and he's going to get stolen by David Hunter. And he's going to give it back to so David Hunter, playing David Hunter basketball right now. Yeah. And he gets over now to Barksdale. Barksdale looking inside, nothing there. Oh, there it is. Nice. And it's wow, foul. he got fouled. Foul. I was going to say. <laughs> Zero. That's going to be on Shakes. That'll be his first, team's first. Well, you're starting to see that passing on the inside, Dan, that we were looking for yesterday, or the coaches were looking for that whole first half. And we've had a couple instances where he had great passes down low. First free throw is good. That's a good start right there. First, another free throw is no good. Hits it off the front of the rim. It's going to be rebounded by Shakes. Francois now gets it down in the corner. Good job on closing out by UC Claremont. Throws up a shot. What do they got here? Said so the ball was loose and fighting for it was number 12, and that was uh, Williams. He said he stepped out of bounds, so to go to UC Claremont. Checking in for the first time for Atlantis will be number 24, and that's Nico Trafton. Kramer gets it across the timeline, gets double teams, got nowhere to go. Gets it over to Baker. Baker gets it. Ah, not a good pass. No. David Hunter's going to take nice. it. Nice. There you go. No, go up. To Gregory, can't do it, and they're going to call a foul. Wow. wow. 55. So that'll be on Nico Lana. That'll be his first, team second. Boy, Gregory almost passed up that opportunity. He got him up in the air. You got to take it up right then. You're under the basket. First free throw is no good. Gregory gets his second free throw here. Free throw is good. There you go. It's going to give the score here 8 to 5. 16 22 to go here in this first half. Dan Albers, Tom Benassi, and Megan Sullivan here from the Cougar Dome. Our second game of our doubleheader, well, actually, second game playing against Atlantis. That's Landon. Swings it on the outside to Trafton. Francois gets it inside to Shakes. Shakes driving down, spins, throws on the left-handed shot. No Missed. good. And Baker had it, but it's going to go off his nice. hand. Actually, it went off of Shakes' hand. Goes out of bounds. It'll, it'll go to UC Claremont. Good positioning right there by Baker underneath. Give it over now. Okay, be ready. There you go. Good job. Greg is going to take it to the basket. Gets it knocked out of his hands. And a call a foul. I don't know. Foul or out of bounds? I think it's just out of bounds. More stuff. He's going to come out. Checking also in for Atlanta. It's going to be Terrence Williams, number 21. Kramer taking the ball out of bounds for UC Claremont. Gets up high to David Hunter. 
Kramer's going to fire for a three-point shot. No good. Hunter with the rebound. Powers his way up. Try to go under the opposite side and hits underneath the rim. Got some numbers here, does Atlantis. But look nice. at that steal by Kramer. Good hustle Balls by Kramer. Balls on the ground. Gets it knocked out go. by David Hunter right. again. Good job. Tell you what, David Hunter is yeah. a man-child today. Yeah, he's playing really, really well. Three steals already for David. Get it over now to Hunter. What do they got to go foul? 24 on the foul. That's going to be on Nick, Nico Crafton. Tom, they're both, like we said, not a lot of fouls caught here. I think they both kind of. Right. The, yeah, and, and I think it'll stay that way unless it starts getting a little bit uh, chippy, and then they'll tighten it up. Give it into Jackson Gregory. There you go. David Hunter takes it to the basket. Oh. Pan put it in, tipped in by, almost tipped in by Jackson Gregory. Couldn't go. Coming down now is Francois. Going to bring it back up. Tom, he does look like he's carrying the ball. Yeah. Our score here, 8-5, to 14.55 to go in his first half. Three-point shot by Bowen. Good. Oh, man. Tough. Anthony Bowen for Atlantis, two threes, six points. Hunter's going to take it in all the way to the basket, throws it up and can't go in. And they're going to call block late. late. Very late. So wow. the foul's going to be on number 21. Wow. Terrence Williams, that'll be his first, <laughs> team's fourth. Ken, he was, he was already on the ground. The ball right. had gone out of bounds. That was a very late call. There you go. That was good. Good job, David. So that made, first free throw makes it 9-8 to eight here. David Hunter getting ready to shoot his second free throw. Nice. That goes good. Good job. That's going to be big, Tom, these free throws in his second game. Yeah, four points for Hunter already. That's that's a good start for him, along with three steals. Bowen's going to come down. Got it knocked out of his hands. Gets it down in a corner. You can't see where it was, sorry. 21 shot. It was no good. And getting the rebound again was David Hunter. Give it now to Duffy. Duffy drives in, kicks it down. Ah. Try to kick it down low to Jackson Gregory. That was one where you go up with a shot. Right, exactly. You know, too far under the basket. Too many guys down there. Give it now to Duffy. Duffy. Hit that. Corner throws up a three-point shot. No good. And it's rebounded and controlled by Francois. Three-point shot. Look at, oh, Bowen or was no good. And I lost here we're at. Looks like the ball was that goes out of bounds, and it's going to go to Atlantis. I didn't see what happened there. Yeah, I missed that. I couldn't see. Atlantis taking the ball out of bounds. Our score here, 10-8, to 8, UC Claremont. It's going to be a kickball. Get it inside. Try to throw it up. Nice tip out. Look nice. at David Hunter. David. Give it over to Kramer. Kramer's going to go up. Gets it oh. rejected. And they're going to call a foul. Wow. It's going to be on Terrence Williams. That'll be his second. Team's fifth. I thought that was pretty clean. But so did I. Once again, David Hunter. Another steal <laughs> off the inbounds play. Doing a really good job. I got Atlantis for five turnovers already. Mm. Ah. Dalton Kramer struggling from the free throw line. He 0 for 5 yesterday. Misses his first one here today. So checking in for the first time is Noah Harold. Jackson Gregory going to come out. There, there we go. go. Puts it All in. Right. Makes that score now 11 to 8 with 13.30 to go. More stuffy Garden Bowen. 
That down in the corner. Good steal Ooh. again by <laughs> David Hunter. Nice high oh, job nice. up there for Harold. Nice. He's gonna make it 13. I thought he got too far underneath <laughs> the basket. <laughs> I did too. So I Noah, like it. Noah Harold scores in 13 to 8. Get it to Shakes. Shakes has it. Gets it up high. Driving into the basket, throws up a shot, no good. Tipped up and in, but rebounded by Harold. Last tipped, I think, was by Shakes, I believe, Tom. Dalton gets it back now to Froze. Froze fires up a three-point shot, no good. Harold was trying to go for the rebound and couldn't get it. Coming down the other way is going to be, no Francois behind the back. Get it inside to Shakes. Shakes. Ah, three guys. Oh, good job. <laughs> It makes it now 13 to 10 with 12.27 to go here in this first half. Charge. Pray. Yep, charge. Ah. They got to, yeah, they got to pull up on that. He pulls up. He's got a little six-foot jump shot. I mean, that's not even. So David Hunter's going to get a much-needed breather. I got David for five steals already in this first half, Dan. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Keith Shakes is a little shaken up. He's going to have to go out. I believe checking in for him was number two, Javarius Johnson. Need Daniel Hennessy to run down there and do his job. So this <laughs> can't be everywhere, Dan. As much as he tries, he can't be everywhere. I'm surprised he didn't have a handshake for the officials. Too, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, that last defensive trip down the floor for Claremont, they had three guys converge yeah. on shakes and yeah. left left the right under the basket wide open. Well, back down to Johnson. Johnson has it at the top of the key. Get it over on the wing to Francois. Back to Johnson. Getting out of Bowen. Ah. Bowen. Oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> he fell down. He did not get tripped. He fell down. The official said he got tripped, and there's no way he got tripped. He fell down. That was, an act, that was Anthony, an act job. Anthony Bowen. Not allowed to kick your leg out. He also grabbed his hand. I don't know if you saw that. He grabbed Barstell's hand. Free throw's no good. Who was that last foul on? Uh, Harold, Noah Harold. Free throw's good. Bowen, seven early points for Atlantis. There so he go. only makes two or three, or one of three. We're number out of Froze. Froze going to drive, pulls up a run in hand, one handed nice. shot, puts it up and in. Going to make it now 15 to 11, 11 48. Quickly, ah. look at that. Oh, man, I tell you what, they had coming down the middle of the court was Nico Landon. It's going to make it now 15 to 13, 11 37 to go. Heads up. Talk. You got to talk to him, guys. Get it to Barstow. Barstow spins, throws up a shot. Nice. Harold with the rebound. Strong. Harold's going to power his way. Gets it in the corner to Froge. Froge gets it over now to Kramer. Settle down. Throws up a shot. Nice. Goes in. That's going to be a key, like they said, getting in the middle. Look at that. Coming down the court, that's going to be a turnover. So, But that's going to be the key, like you said, getting the ball to the middle. Yep. We've got size and strength to where we should be able to score the ball inside right. that paint. And, but you can't just ignore it. You have right. to get it in there and let the guys take advantage of it. Tom, I, it's all about mismatch in there. Look who's not on the court either. Baker, Gregory, or right. Hunter. Giving them a little bit of a breather. See, there we go. That's the first one. You can't dribble through. Look at that. Morris wow. Duffy. Give it to Harold. Harold's going to put it up and in. Going to make it here 19 to 13, 10 48 to go. Well, Harold making a nice impact here. 
Wow, I don't know how that went in. But you know what? It's I tell you what, David Froge, he just went right by David. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony Bone is definitely, uh, he's the man right now for, for Atlantis, and he was in the second half yesterday. Uh, he's he's carrying the load. He's got nine points, you know, out of the 15. So yeah. he, he's the guy we can't seem to be able to stop. But that was the first one today right there where you saw uh, Dalton Kramer try and dribble through multiple guys, and yesterday – we were just getting all the time blown up by that, yep. you know, and and hopefully that doesn't continue. You gotta slow it down in your head, slow the game down, and hit that open guy. But uh, still doing okay on turnovers today. I only got us for a couple of them, so yeah, mu- much better, uh, much better. Uh, you can tell game one to game two. Yeah. I know it's only been one game, but just the the way they're playing, it was. You can tell the excitement of last yesterday being the oh, first yeah. game, and you know the butterflies. There's not been as many turnovers. There's not been as many fouls. I mean, it's yeah. Now, now early on, you're seeing kind of the opposite. Atlantis with I got them for eight turnovers already. Two fourths, yeah. So they're they're kind of the ones. You know, a couple times they're pressing, trying to get that easy bucket, and they're turning it over on the pass. Get the crawl. There you go. Get it out of Duffy. Get in there. Duffy nice. puts it up and in. Good luck. Thought he might have had a, a, a extra step. Extra step, yeah. It did look like it. So Duffy puts it in. Good job by UC Claremont. It can extend it lead to 21 to 15. Get it down the corner. Three-point shot on the way is no good. Last shot by Logan. He's going to fire up. Nope. Gives it down to Bowen. Bowen stepped out of bounds. Another turnover for Atlantis. Can't let them get going on the offensive nope. glass. They were they were beating us up on the offensive glass in the first half yesterday. Not so much in the second, but the first half. So Duffy now brings it across the timeline. Uh, he picked no, up his dribble. Bad, bad Might point. have been too early. Give it over now to Dalton Kramer. Going to drive in. Kicks it back now to Harold. Harold gives it over now to Froge. Froge. Gives it over to Kramer. Fires up a three-point shot. No, no good. He's going to get his own rebound. Gives it back now to Harold. Harold said he walked. Shot clock. Should be at 19. It's always one second. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Harold, give it over now to Dobby. <laughs> Dobby takes it in, lose control of the basketball. Going to be a turnover. Coming down is going to be Francois. He got oh. a knock on his hand by Harold. That's going to be on Harold. I believe that's going to be his second. Uh, good minutes for Harold, though, and I thought he played that pretty well. I think he reached a little bit at the end, but uh, I thought he went up straight, did a good job there. Free throw's good. Baker's going to come in. Harold gave him some good minutes. Yeah, he Tom. did, absolutely. And that's just one of those situations, Dan, where the confidence will grow every absolutely. time. Absolutely. Free throw's good, so he makes both of them. 21-17. I'd start getting the ball in the uh, down low to Baker. Yeah, ah, you got to step to the ball. Basket's up and good. Makes it 21-19. So Duffy gets it across, gets it inside of Baker. Baker's going to power his way up. Go. Throws up a shot, no good. And quickly coming down, Bowen's going to give it to a run. Oh, he walked. He walked. Man. Lucky avoided that because that was definitely a turnover. 
No, nice move by Morris Duffy. Duffy. Wow. Gets it Good inside. Look. Baker's going to put it up and <laughs> in. All right, Morris is starting to play now. 23-19, our score. Luckily, that didn't, didn't go right. down here this last yeah, bat. Absolutely. He obviously walked. Good, Good hands. Job by Good hands. David nice. Froze takes it up and in. Going to make it 25-19. to 19. Good D by uh, Kramer and Froze on that play up top. And it's going to be Bowen. Gets it down. Nice pass by Bowen to get it inside of Shakes. He puts it up and in. Makes it 25-21. We're at 7.45 to go here in this first half. Morris Duffy's going to take it. Look at that. Nice. He did a hesitation, Tom. <laughs> yeah. That guy fell backwards, and yep. then he continued to go. Bowen's going to fire up. Steps in. In shot. In and out. No good. Oh. And Shakes has it now. Throws up a shot. Off bounce. No good. Rebounded by Duffy. Because it now to Froze. Yeah. Froze. Fires up a three-point shot. No good. Yep. Dalton Kramer tried to go for the Got rebound, and Baker's going to get a foul. Ah. It's going to be two on Josh Baker. He might have to, he might have to sit. He's going to have a timeout here called by Atlantis University. Looks like David Hunter's going to check in for, uh, for Josh Baker. Well, so far for Atlantis, it's a two-man show. It's Anthony Bowen and Keith Shakes. And uh, Francois is the one that was big in the first half. Him and him and Shakes yesterday in the first half were dominating Claremont. Yeah. And uh, Francois just has the two free throws as of right now. But uh, Bowen's showing up in the first half of this game instead of just the second. Right. Yeah, Bone's a pretty good ball player. I mean, he, he's a good he, – you saw that pass he had down here earlier, kind of a no-look pass. Yeah, he's, him and Shakes work well together, yeah. the inside out. And again, Atlantis University is uh, in the same in the same conference, the, U, uh, the USCAA, but they're in the Division One, which obviously is a higher uh, higher you know division, and then UC Claremont's Division Two. So UC Claremont, first three games of the season are going to be playing – Division One basketball team, so good test for them here early. Yeah, and that's the goal I think every year now with with Coach Ellis. You know, he wants to play the top notch competition, and that way when it comes to tournament time, if they get the nod, they're ready. Right. You know, and uh, some of these losses don't hurt you when it comes later in the year selection time. They look at the teams you've right. played, and Absolutely. they're like, "Well, they didn't." They didn't avoid anybody, that's for sure. So Bowen will be bringing the ball up the court. Looks like UC Claremont's in that man-to-man. Shakes. Flips it back to Francois. Off he got a knock of his leg. Good yeah, job by David Hunter. Hunter again. He, he may get to 10 steals in the first yeah, half. Yeah, he might. They have a double-double in a different way. Duffy. Got to take it down. Gets it to Hunter. Wow. Hunter's going to lay it up nice. and in. Good job. I think that ball slipped out of his hands. Yeah, I think so, too. Swing it over to Trafton. Trafton trying to get nice. it inside. But good nice job, job by Dalton Kramer trying to get it inside of Shakes. See, Shakes was telling him he wanted it up high. He didn't yeah. want it down low. Good good pressure D right there by, uh, by Kramer. Get it out of Francois. They got 21 on the shot clock. Tyus Williams. As he's going to drive in. Throws it off the glass. Up and in. 29-23 our score. Oh, that's dangerous pass. David Hunter now has it. Gets it knocked out of his hand a couple times. Yeah. Swings it in the corner. Barksdale, he's going to fire for a three-point shot. In and out, no good. And getting the rebound is going to be Francois. 29-23. Ah. And Shake's going to take it to the basket. He misses it. And Duffy gets the rebound. Barksdale gives it back up now to Duffy. So good job by Morris Duffy. Yeah. 
Duffy spins, throws up. Nice shot. look. Gets it down low. Up to David nice. Hunter. Up and in. Tell you what, Morris Duffy right now is taking over for Claremont. Yeah, 20, uh, 31 to 23, our score with 5.21 to go here in this first half. Dan Albers, Tom Benassi, and Debbie, or Debbie, <laughs> Megan Sullivan get it mixed up there. And it's going to be Bowen. Spins, turns with a shot. Good, look at that. Okay. 11 points now for Anthony Bowen. And Duffy. That's it knocked uh, out of his hands. Bowen's got num they got numbers. Gave it right up to Francois. He's going to put it up and in. 31-27. Give it over now to Froze. Froze behind his back. Up, under. Gets it now. Oh, David Hunter cutting to the basket. Not a good throw, Tom. No. Too much traffic. Bowen's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. Man, oh, man. Anthony Bowen lighting it up for Atlantis. Three out of four from deep in this first half. David Strong. Hunter taking it to the basket. Gets, yeah. gets it knocked away by Bowen. Or, excuse me, Shanks. So it's been a bad... Bowen throws up a shot. No good. Rebounded by Kramer. It's a foul. It's a foul right there in front of him. Is it on Trafton? Yep. I think 24. That'll be his second. Team six. So like you said in the pregame, Dan, a lot fewer fouls than what yeah. happened yesterday in the first half. So they've cut, cut it down to only a one-point lead here for UC Claremont, 31 to 30 with four minutes to go in this half. Get it now to Duffy. Nice Gets it inside uh, ah. to Jackson Gregory as he was going to the basket. He got fouled by Shakes. I don't know. It looked like he might have blocked that one. Yeah, that was, that was a close one. That's two on Keith Shakes, and he was one of the guys that got in foul trouble in the first half yesterday. Was their leading scorer in the first half, but missed a lot of time with three and four fouls. Gregory did a line. He's one yep. of two so far. Free throws on the way. It's good. Makes it 32 to 30. And he makes there both of them. That's nice. big. Smooth. 33-30. What do we got here? Uh, I don't know. I think. What? <laughs> he what fell. I think huh? he fell. <laughs> <laughs> Get it outside here to Landon. Landon. See if they try to work something to. Powering his way down on David Hunter. Good D, David. David. Stay down. Turns up a shot. No good. Getting the rebound was Tyus Williams. And looks like it's going to be a kick ball. We set the clock to 20, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. Taking the ball out of bounds will be landing for Alanis. In the corner, Francois is going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. Grab it. Rebound by go. Jackson Gregory. The more stuff he has it up high. Ah. Got it knocked away. Come on. They got numbers. Get it over now to Barstow. Come He's on. going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. And it's going to go over the backboard. He's got kind of a... All right. 0 for 2 from down deep. Barksdale... So we've been at 33 to 30 for a little bit here with 3.07 to go here in this first half. Get up high to Tyus Williams. Williams going to drive in between the circle, spins at the free throw line, throws up a shot, good. 
Nice job by Tyus Williams. Yeah, Tyus, six early points for Tyus Williams today. David Hunter brings the ball off the court. Kramer's going to fire up a three-point shot. No Man. good. And try to get the rebound was going to be Gregory, but he couldn't get it. A lot of reaching in there, and that's going to be on Barksdale. That'll be his first. Team seven. Just struggling from three-point land. We, we struggled early yesterday yeah. and 0 for 7 right now from three for Claremont. Free throw's good. That will tie it up here. I think, Tom, it's it's been a while since it's been tied. You see kind of been hanging on to that lead. Francois will be ready for his second free throw. Free throw's good. So they got the lead for the first time in a while, 34 to 33. 2.35 to go here in this first half. Kramer gets it over now to Gregory, to Hunter. It's over now to Gregory. Gregory looked like he was going to fire up a three-point shot. Gets it now to Hunter. Hunter there you gets go. it back to Duffy. Duffy, three-point uh, shot in and out. No good. Barksdale nice. puts it up and in. Nice. How about that by Barksdale, one hand. 35-34, we're getting ready to go under two minutes. Help, help. Out of control. Looks like David Hunter got hit in the gut. Yeah, it's going to go our ball, I believe. But David Hunter got nailed. <laughs> going to be David Froge probably going for David Hunter. So, again, they do not have, which is a smart move, not having Josh Baker in here with right. two fouls. Right, absolutely. You can't, you can't do that. Gregory gives it over now to Duffy. They got 20 on the shot clock. Duffy no, trying to throw a ball. No He's trying to get the Barksdale who was cutting. Yeah. There's, I don't even no know if he, if he even would have got it in. It would have been right. nothing. Yeah, no way on that one. Taking the ball out of bounds will be Kramer. Get up high now to Duffy. Give it over now to Gregory. Gregory's going to drive into the basket. He gets fouled. Go. Good job by Jackson Gregory. That's going to be on Shakes, I believe. Nope. Nope. Caught it on uh, Tyus Williams. Team's eight. Boy, Shakes got lucky there because he was the one that was complaining. He thought it was on him. They might be talking about that right now. Yeah. No, they're not good. 12? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was on Shakes. Yeah, I, I think did he too. did too. It was on Shakes. Well, it's on video, so they can watch it later. We'll let them see it. It was no good. Free throw's good. All right. The 36 34 score, 129 to go in this first half. Bowen. Come on, finish strong. Getting inside to Shake. Shake oh, spin, nice throws move. him a shot up and good. That was a nice move. Shake's now with eight points. Give it now to Duffy. Swings it over now to Froge. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good! All right. Finally got one. One of nine from three-point land now, the Cougars. And that was a big one. Yeah, runner. We have 44 seconds to go. There's about a 13-second differential. Brown tries to throw it inside. He tried to get it into shakes. He does. He's going to throw it back out to Bowen. We got 10 on the shot clock. He's going to take it to the basket. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Duffy. It's a reach in. Thank you. 
All right, so that's going to be on Bowen. That'll be his first, team's ninth. Does no good. Oh, don't Kramer trying to go wow. for that rebound. It that goes off and foul. <laughs> it should have been. <laughs> so Froge coming out, Hunter coming back in. We got 25 seconds to go in this first half. Can referee just, I guess, some doage on the floor? <laughs> It's that time of year, Dan. I mean, you get a lot of that moisture that appears <laughs> yeah. out of nowhere. So 25 seconds to go. UC Claremont up here 39 to 36. See if Bowen just tries to keep it here, Tom. I'll work something for Bowen to get a three-pointer. Get it swinging around now. It's going to be shakes. Back to Bowen. Oh. Gets it inside to Francois. He's going to step back for a three-point shot. Good. That's going to be the end of the half. So let's get with uh, Coach uh, Ass here in a few minutes. So pretty good half, Tom. Uh, you know, obviously 39-39. I think these guys kind of figured each other out. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. They match up well against each other, clearly, because yesterday's game, I don't think there was a gap of more than six points. Yeah, there was for there most yeah. of that game. Yeah. And, I mean, until right at the end, I think. So, you know, to see it this close after another half, they definitely match up well. Yep. But so. uh, definitely a cleaner game for Claremont in this first half, free throw wise and turnover wise. So, did a much better job on both those sides. So, as we're joined again uh, by the assistant coach uh, Doug Aston, Doug. Uh, much different uh, uh, game uh, here starting the second time you guys played. He's got ground. It's a little, both teams have kind of settled down. You guys both playing uh, pretty, pretty good basketball again here for the second time. Not bad. Um, you know, there's no substitute for physicality and pressure. Right, right. And they've got both. Yes. And then they've got a couple guys that can light it up. I mean, they've got the same two guys. Owen and Francois. Yeah, they've got 14 threes in a game and a half so far. Yeah. Um, and, we're, you know, we're trying to key on them, but, you know, it's hard to. A lot of times guys aren't, guys aren't sticking to their guy. Right. And we just ask them, you know, take them away, take them away. And it doesn't happen a lot of times. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 39-39, we'll, we'll take that. Um, still missing free throws, you know, it, which is a little surprising. We're a pretty good free throw shooting team. But, uh, yeah, not bad first half. Yeah, I mean, I think you're doing a better job of taking control of the bat. I mean, not turning over the ball like you did yesterday. Yesterday you had a lot of turnovers. Today is not as bad, I don't think, as it was uh, that first half last yesterday. So yeah, uh, is it a key for them to keep getting the ball in the middle still, I think? Well, we're, we're trying. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, when when you try to get the ball in the middle, you've got to come back to it. You can't short arm it. Right. and you know you. know So it's got to be quick right away and then attack or find threes in the corner. We have one three. I mean, Larry, we were one for ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, that, that hurts. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, second half's, you know, a different ball game here, so we'll see if we can make that happen. So what do you tell these guys in the second half to, to get them over that hump for like that, you know, like from yesterday? You guys kind of had it had that lead at the end of, you know, like the three-minute mark. You were had a five-, six-point lead and then just kind of lost it there. What, what are you going to tell the guys here for the second half? Don't turn it over. <laughs> I mean, that's easier said than done, but right. I let off this conversation with, you know, their pressure and physicality. Yeah. I mean, they, they bring the heat. I mean, they're right. bumping us off of screens. Yeah. They're nailing us every single time we go to the paint. They call it or not, you right. know, it's one of those things. So, yeah. uh, but, uh, you know, I think I think we just limit the turnovers here and get it inside. We You know, we've got we had two guys in foul trouble again in first yeah. half again, so that hurt too. So, um, I don't know, second half, we sh we'll be ready to go. We'll see if we can execute. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Coach Ass joining us there, getting his thoughts. And like he said, uh, Tom, they're just going to have to, uh, you know, watch the foul trouble and limit the turnovers. Yeah, I mean, they had 19 turnovers in the first half yesterday. They have nine today. So big difference there. Uh, it's going to be key to see whose legs hold up the longest here in the second half. Yep, yep, that'll be it. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Halftime, our score, 39-39. We'll be back with second half action right after this.
Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Abbott along with Tom Manassi back here at the UC Cougar Dome. Our score is knotted up here, 39-39. And, Tom, pretty good half by both teams. And uh, see how UC Claremont responds here in the second half. Yeah, it's all a matter of who's going to have the legs to finish this. It's been a battle, an even battle, yes. for three halves now with these two teams. And it's a physical game. They're letting them play a little bit. And uh, it's showing. Yesterday, we got a couple – Big, significant changes from yesterday's game. Yesterday in the first half combined, there was 24 fouls called. Today, only 16. Yeah. There were 35 turnovers in the first half yesterday combined. There's 21 today. And, uh, you know, for, for Atlantis, it's pretty consistent. The big three, Bowen, Shakes, and Francois had 31 in the first half yesterday, or 34 in the first half yesterday, and they have 31 combined today. Wow. So it's all about those big three for Atlantis. They don't have much after that, scoring-wise. Claremont, on the other hand, leading away. David Hunter, eight points, five steals, two rebounds. Uh, already much better than his stats from yesterday. Yes. So great first half for David Hunter. And But they got eight guys that have scored baskets. So well, that's good. Pretty consistent yeah. all the way through for Claremont. They just got to step up, got to take care of the ball. You can't start getting lazy. And we saw a little bit of sloppiness. And late in that second half, getting the ball over half court, they had turned it over a few times. So, yep, so. It. like I said, it's all about legs. We'll it see who, who's got it to the end. It really is. So our score again, as we said, 39-39. And uh, we'll see how it looks like we're going to have the same starters for both teams to start the second half. So that's going to be Shakes, Francois, Bowen, Williams, and Landon for Atlantis. And for UC Claremont, it'll be David Hunter, Kramer, uh, Dalton Kramer, David Froge, Josh Baker, and Jackson Gregory. And so starting off the second half, Atlantis will have the ball. And it is going to be that man, Bowen. He has been a special player to watch here the last two games. Going to have it off to his right. Looks like UC Claremont's going to be in that nice. stole right there. Stolen already right there. So turnover by Atlantis. Yep. Almost gave it right yeah. back. David Froge pulls up. Throws up a three-point shot. Good. Two, Two-pointer. Two-pointer. Forty-one thirty-nine or score. It's going to be Tyus Williams. Get it inside to Shake. Shake spins. Throws a left-handed shot up. No good. Nice, Rebound David. by David Hunter. Hunter coming down the other way. Yeah, that's, that's a foul. foul. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That'll be his second. Team's first. Gregory taking a lot of bounds. Nope. Oh. Ah. You hate seeing that yep. <laughs> on an inbounds play. You just, man. So taking a lot of bounds will be Atlantic University, and it's Bowen now bringing the ball up the court. Quickly to Shakes. Shakes gets it down low. And he's going to be fouled oh, by Baker. That's going to be on Baker. Oh. Three on Josh Baker. So you got Tyus Williams' first trip to the line today. Free throw's good. Nice free throw. Two in a row. 41 all here. 1907. Moving now to Froge across the timeline. Both of them a one handed shot off front of rim. No good. Rebounded by Shakes. Nice job. Look at that. David Hunter again had a lot to do with them not scoring. Kramer comes up with a rebound on the floor. Yeah. So that was David Froge going to the basket. He got hammered from behind by number one, and that's Francois. Francois. 
So Faroge will be in a line to shoot two. Free throw's good. See if David can have another huge second half like yeah. he did yesterday. Next free throw for Froge. Good. It's both of them. It's going to put them back up top here, 43 to 41. Oh, wow. Three-point shot. Good, man. I'm pretty sure you don't have a defense for that. That was six feet behind the line. Kramer gets it over now to Gregory. Back over to Kramer. No, oh, that's a reach foul. In. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be three on Shakes. So Kramer has it. Gets it over now to yeah. Froge. They're anticipating those passes. They're they're walking right into him. Francois oh, he misses missed a layup. Wow. They're putting it back up and in. He's going to be number 55. Nico Landon. That's going to give them their, their biggest another turnover. Uh. Foul's going to be on David Hunter. All right, Claremont's got to get back to getting being strong with the basketball. We've seen few turnovers here. There you go, look here. at that. There's one on Atlantis' part. Nice. And good! Oh, wow. Nice, nice strong by move. Dalton by Dalton Kramer. Yeah, awesome. We saw two of those yesterday out of him. Yeah, he's definitely got the strength to go inside and do that. Take some contact and still get it in. That's going to make it a one-point ball game. Free throw's there good. Go. There we go. Looked like he took his time on that one, Tom. Yesterday, he looked like he was rushing. Yeah. So 46 all here, 17.45 to go in this second half. Bowen gets it back, gets it down low, and then kicks it back outside. Got 14 on his shot clock. Landon has it up high with 11. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. <laughs> that was like a last resort shot. He yeah. said, ah, I think I'll shoot it. Kramer gets it back now from Hunter. Kramer's going to take it all the way in. Off balance nope. shot, no good. Got it rejected. And they've got numbers here. And you know he wasn't going to pass it. No. And Froge will pick up his first foul. <laughs> Bowen now with 19 points. I think he would have 20, 25 yesterday. Just consistent. He's kind of taken over. You know, you don't see much coming out of Shakes and, and Francois. It's all Bowen right now. Yeah. We haven't seen more of Stuffy in, and now he's in. And so is Barksdale. Ah. Give her now to Kramer. It's a foul. That's a foul. How is that not a foul? Ah. Come on, guys. Kramer's going to fire for a three-point shot. Nice. Good. All right. They needed that. They needed that. 51-49, 16-25 to go. You 
Landon gets it over now to Williams. And now they're going to call a foul on David Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> David Hunter picks up his second foul, and number 12 goes to the line. Tyus Williams, two for two from the line, eight points on the game. Free throw's good. Those good. He hits both of them. That's going to bring him back up now. 53 49. 16 14 to go. Throw him now to Kramer. Over to Hunter. That's a foul Just every freaking time. Barksdale's going to take it in. Oh. The shot got rejected. Gets his own back. Gives him now to Kramer. Fires up a three point shot. Good! Love it. Hey, good job by Barksdale to kick that ball out. Instead of forcing a shot, he kicks it out and finds the open guy. Kramer drains it. And you're staying right there with it, Tom. It's only a one-point ball game, 53-52. to 52. Driving all the way to the basket. Nice job by Tyus. Tyus Williams, that's going to bring him back up by three. Gonna step back and hit three point. Good! Oh my Big goodness. three pointer. Coming out party for Dalton Kramer Dalton. today. Wow. Look at that by Dalton Kramer. 12 points already in the second half. More stuffy. Give it now to Barksdale. Barksdale has it. Kicks it back now to Kramer. Pulls up, throws up a shot. Good! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Good job by yeah. Dalton Kramer. Boy, that's a nice little run there by your point guard. Holy cow. That was all Dalton Kramer there. <laughs> Two threes and then a yeah. shot. Great job by Dalton Kramer. Wow. He, he's just, he was just begging for the ball on that trip down the floor. So, what a great job. 14 points in the second half. 17 overall for Dalton Kramer. So definitely coming out party for him shooting the basketball. No question about that. I mean, that's one of those things right now where we've seen it before. You know, just keep feeding him the ball. Yeah, Let absolutely. him keep shooting until he And you know what? When it. they start keying on him, kick David it over Froze. to Froze. <laughs> <laughs> and for Atlanta, you have Tyus Williams really stepping up and taking over some of the scoring. Uh, you know, your Francois has been pretty quiet. He had nine in the first half. He hasn't scored in the second, and Williams has picked up the slack. So UC Claremont takes that lead, 57-55. All Talton Kramer there at the end, and so it'll be Bowen now bringing the ball to the court. So looks like they're going to play a little zone now here, Tom. The two-one-two. And they saw that last, and we did it mess them up a little bit. Definitely affected them yesterday in that first half. And they got eight on the shot clock. And shot was no good. Kramer tried to get her. Nice. Kramer does have it. Oh, right oh. back to David Froze. <laughs> what an assist by Dalton Kramer. Yeah, Dalton Kramer showing us some special stuff right now. Francois is going to go to the basket. Shot no, no good. good. Grab it. Jackson ah. Gregory had it. Gives it back now to Bowen. Got it inside. Out of position. Ah, He's going to say walked. he walked with the basketball. Yeah. Walk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Like, Dan, right now, Kramer is just, uh, he's really putting on a show right now. Yes, he is. It's yeah, fun to watch. Isn't yeah, it? I'll tell you what. Pretty impressive few minutes here for number five for the Cougars. So Duffy's going to bring it across the timeline. Gives it now to David Hunter. Over to Duffy. Ah, oh, yeah. They got numbers, and Francois is going to take it in. Number 
So Coach Ellis doesn't like it, calls a timeout. Yeah, I'll tell you, Dan, it, it's exactly like it was yesterday. They just, neither team can seem to pull it away. You get up by four, the other team gets on a run, gets it back, maybe takes a lead by two. You know, and then it's, it's staying close the entire game, and it's identical to the second half that we saw yesterday. It just never got anywhere beyond four-point difference. Yeah, and it, and just uh, just been two great games so far we've had. Yesterday was just as exciting as this one, but maybe this is the coming out and welcome to college basketball by Dalton Kramer. Because yeah, you know maybe yesterday he was just trying to get the feel of what college basketball is a lot. You know, you always talk to those guys and they said the speed is a lot faster. I'm sure he found out yeah. yesterday. Yeah, I tell you, I don't know how many turnovers he had personally yesterday, but he's definitely cut down on the turnovers today and handling the offense a lot better. Absolutely. So Kramer does have it, gets it back now to Duffy. Give it now to David Hunter. Swing it over now to Gregory. Give it to Hunter. They're playing man-to-man. -man. Give it over now to Dalton Kramer. Kramer. Got 12 on a shot clock. Give it now to Froge. Gets it inside to Duffy. Duffy puts up and shot. Goes nice. to Jackson Gregory. Gregory. Nice, strong move, and another great pass by Morris Duffy. When do you start to put Josh Baker back into this ballgame? I think you can go probably nine, maybe eight minutes. He's only got three, right? Yeah, yeah he's only can, got yeah, three. Yeah, you can, probably, you can actually put him in probably ten. So 61-57 our score with 12.50 to go here in this ballgame. I believe yesterday's game was, what, 85-81? Is that what it was yesterday? Yeah, I think so. Or 86-81, I think. Froge has it now on the wing. Gets it knocked out of his hand again. Yeah. yeah. Get it down into Shakes. Nothing there. He missed it. And it looked like he might have been over the back. They didn't call it. Bring it back out. Trying to get inside to Shanks or not. Bowen, I bet you he's going to try to shoot it here, Tom. Ten on the shot clock. Nine yeah. on the shot clock. Pulling up. No, he didn't pull up. Wow. Crosses it over. Almost goes out of bounds. Running in. They got three on the shot clock. Two, one. And it goes in. Wow. That hurts when you let the time clock go all the way down yeah. to one second. But more stuffy now. Nice. Pros. There you go. Going to fire up a three-point nope. shot. No good. David Hunter trying to get the rebound. He can't get it. And it's going to be a hold on David Hunter. That'll be three on David Hunter. Coming back in with Barksdale for Claremont. What's going on here? Oh. Yeah, Barksdale came in for Hunter. Okay. Sixty-one fifty-nine, eleven thirty-seven to go here in this ball game. Again, see if this is going to slow him down at all, Tom, with this zone here. Get it inside to Shakes. Going to take it up, put it up and in. Ah. So it's going to be. Duffy gets it over now to Froze. Froze going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. You can tell he was rushing it. Bowen has it, brings it back out now to Tyus Williams. Getting ready to go under 11 minutes here, go. Tied up here at 61. Good defense nice. by David Froge. Good hands inside right there. Froge gets it over now to Kramer. Takes the three. Gets it. Ah! Oh, Try to throw it into Jackson Gregory. Good thought, but nothing there. They got numbers again, Tom. Francois gets it down in the corner. Three-point shot on the way. No good. Rebounded by Jackson Gregg. The last shot was by number 55, Nico Landon. He thought he made it. They all yelled boom, too. And it yeah. didn't. There was no, no booming. No booming. Get on the side of Barksdale. Get it to Jackson Gregory. Yeah. 
Silly pass there by Jackson. Another turnover. Turnovers starting to pile up here. Yeah, I, I, I stopped keeping track. Yeah, a lot of these times, it, it's Atlantis is in the position of where the ball's going a lot quicker than Clemson. Right, absolutely. You know, we're put, we're passing it there because that's where we think we're going to be open, and it's not working. I mean, they're they're just too quick. So but, 61-61 our score, 10-05, and here has come Josh Baker, Tom. You were right, right around the 10-minute mark. Yeah. Yeah, he's, you know, I think he's just frustrated. You know, he's got five points today. He had a big game yesterday. Played really well in the second half. Really started to show his power on the inside, both on the defensive rebounding and offensively taking the ball to the basket. And uh, started gaining some confidence. And today he's just been frustrated with some early fouls. So it'll see how long he and also David Hunter can last. They both have three fouls. A lot of different story here in the second matchup. David Hunter and Josh Baker are in foul trouble with three. Noah Harold has two. And for Atlantis, it's uh, Shakes with three. Uh, that's it. And then we got Bowen, Williams, Trafton, and Lannon each have two. So Yeah, at this point in the second half yesterday, Atlantis had four guys with four fouls. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a whole different ball game today because two of you had Shakes had four, Francois had four. Uh, I think it was Trafton and Landon, I think, were yeah, the guys four, with yeah. four fouls. And today they're just they're, they're not getting that foul trouble. And uh, they're able to stay on the floor. So 61 our score. Taking the ball out of bounds will be Landon. He gave it to Bowen. Swings it up high to Shakes. Then they got 12 on the shot clock. Going to bring it back out. Guarded by Kramer. Swing it over now to Francois. Pulls up at the elbow. Throws up a shot. Good. Nice shot by... Nice Francois. shot by Francois. He was the one that kind of caught fire too yesterday. Yeah, he was. He's been quiet since the first half. Nine in the first. He's got four now in the second. Kramer got it knocked out from uh, behind him. Bowen gets it knocked out of his hand. It goes off his leg oh, and out wow. of bounds. So good job by Marcus Duffy or Morris Duffy. Excuse me. Give it over now to Baker. Baker's going to take it to the there basket. Go. He's going to get fouled as he's going to the hole. That foul's going to be on number 55, Landon. That'll be his third. That'll be the team's right. fifth. Oh, one. That'll be on Francois. Sorry, I had it on 55. Good aggressive move once again by Josh Baker. Give it up now to Barksdale inbounds. Swing it over to Kramer. Kramer's going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Bowen. Quickly gets ah. it down. Scared the shake. Shake's going to put it up and in. Give it over now to Baker. On a wing up high to... Yep, that's foul's going to be three. on Francois. That was a though. silly foul. <laughs> yeah, but they've been pretty much doing that a lot. <laughs> Tuffy. Has it up. they got 19 on the shot clock. We're at 8.40 to go in this game. 65-61. Atlantis up on UC Claremont. <sighs> shot no good. So they're gone cold all of a sudden here, Tom. Yeah. Get it down in the corner. Francois is going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. Grab it. And rebounded go. by Baker. Kramer. There you go. Move it over to Barksdale. Back up high to Kramer now. Kramer fires up a shot in and out. No good. And it's going to be rebounded by Bowen. Nice look at that. Blocked by Kramer. Kramer's going to take it to nice. the basket. Nice move up and in. Really nice. 
He has been playing lights out here today. Yeah, really, really impressive second half here by Dalton Kramer. 65-63, 7.45 to go. Bowen's going to bring it back out. Looks like David Hunter going to check back into the ball game. Bring it up high. Landon down in the corner. Francois has he, he stepped out of bounds. All right. A couple lackadaisical turnovers yeah. for Atlantis these last couple trips, you know. Just kind of mediocre type play, and, and uh, it's cost them twice. Claremont's got to take advantage of this. So it looks like Dalton Kramer coming out to get a much-needed breather. Yeah, he's not going to be over here very long. Nope. Duffy. Gets it into Baker. Fights for it. Gets it to Froze. Nice. Froze, one-handed shot. Nah. He's short-handed at. That's going to be a foul on David Froze. That'll be his second. Sixty-five, sixty-three, seven oh nine to go. Dan Alberts, Tom and Nancy, and Megan Sullivan here from the Cougar Dome. So Bowen brings the ball up the court. Being guarded by Barksdale. He's going to take it right to the hole. He's going to be fouled by Barksdale, I believe. Yeah. So that's going to send Anthony Bowen to the line. He's one for four from the free throw line. And he's four of five from three-point land. So he's just yeah. a little bit too close. He needs exactly to back up on his free throws. <laughs> First free throw on the way. Good. <laughs> 35 seconds. <laughs> Dog Graver checks back in. He went out at 7.35, and he's back in at 7. <laughs> Just needed a drink. Free throws. Good. He hits both of them. 67-63, our score here. See if Dalton kind of takes over again here. It's going to be Baker taking nice. it right to the hole. That is an impressive move right there. So, again, that Coach Ellis trying to tell him to take away that three-point shot because you know they're going to yeah. do it. Yeah, well, both guys on the right side here, Francois. And, uh, don't foul, don't foul. What do we got? Bowen, nice. Stepped out of bounds. Wow. They've had some really yeah. silly like, yeah, mistakes, that's what I mean. you know. Like, In the last two minutes, they've turned it over three times and are just kind of silly, unforced turnovers. So we're, you see Claremont showing here 65, 67, 65 with 6.27 to go. Don Kramer just having an outstanding game here tonight. Brings the ball across the court to Baker. Baker's going to drive Strong. to the basket, and he gets ah. fouled, and no call. Unbelievable. How is that not a call? I don't understand how that's not a call. Barksdale bringing it down to court. Throws it off the glass, no good. Almost a foul, and a Baker hits. going to be a silly foul. That's going to be silly foul. four on Josh Baker. Definitely frustration setting in for him, no question. So who we got? We got Bowen, I think, going to the line. He's, he's sitting on 21 points tonight, or today. Sixty-nine, sixty-five. Bowen on the line. Free throws, no there good. There we go. Kramer again. Looks like Froh's going to check in, too, as well. Get over now to Barksdale. Barksdale. Give it to him. Waited too long. He, was too, he waited too long. He yeah. was open. Foul's going to be on Francois. That'll be his fourth, Tom. 
Yeah, I'll tell you, he had great position right there, just a little bit too late. Throwing the ball in there, he would have had a clean catch. Baker hit a one out of two in the first half, hasn't been back to the line until now. Ah, I didn't make it. Rebounded by Bowen. It's a big moment right here. Here it is. 69-65. Not it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, that, that's a terrible call. Sorry, that is a terrible call. Wow. He did not move. He did not move uh, at all. He stood still right there the whole time. Hey, Brian. No. No. He didn't move at all. So Bowen back to the line again. Three of seven from the free throw line. Yeah, he did not move at all. He's crazy. It's on video. You can watch it. It's a horrible call. It's a horrible call. He did not move at all. No. <laughs> Free throw's good. So Anthony Bowen now with 22 leading the way in the scoring column. Free throw's no good. Rebounded by Duffy. So again... Baker fouls out again, two consecutive games in a row. Duffy oh. gets it into David Hunter. David Hunter spins, puts it up, shot oh. no good. Things just not falling here for UC Claremont. No, and, you know, five-point lead with the ball. This is, you know, you're in danger of going down by more than right. you have in two games, really. And then it's going to be Hart landing. Uh, that's silly. silly foul. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be his fourth. Yeah, I don't understand what he was doing there. He it's like he wanted to pick up a foul. <laughs> Nobody else for Claremont has more than two, so they're in good shape. For Atlantis, Francois has four, and Shakes has three. Looks like Coach Ellis is going to call a full timeout here. I think it's a good timeout. Yeah, they're struggling to find anything that can fall on the offensive end. I mean, they're just uh, really struggling right now uh, to get the ball to go down. And it's, you know, they're having a hard time getting open shots. I mean, they're, they're, Atlanta's defense has been pretty consistent the whole game. They're just not giving them much room to get shots off from the outside. Yeah, it's been... Uh been a tough uh, battle, but again, you know, th this is a, I, I know the coach also doesn't want to hear this, but, you know, moral victory, anything you want to call that, but this is a really good Division One team that they're playing, and they've been right there almost the whole game with uh, both games. Oh, so yeah. They should have won yesterday, had a chance to win yesterday, and today they just had uh, a couple silly mistakes down, you know, just had a horrible run at the end here. Yeah, and, and, you know, Atlantis has their issues, too. They're turning the ball over. I guarantee you, if you watch them in February, they're not going to be turning the ball right. over 30 times, you know. and, and uh, But they just have had consistent scoring out of Bowen and Francois and Shakes. It's been consistent the whole time in these two games. And uh, right now, you know, you had that nice little run by Dalton Kramer, who's having a, a great game. I think he's got 19. But uh, you need scoring from other places, and they're just struggling to get that right yeah, now. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right, so 70 to 65, our score will be on the line. will be Atlantis. Yeah, so yesterday Baker had 18. He had seven today. Duffy had 15, and he's sitting on six or four right now. So... You know, you, right. you're not getting that consistent scoring that was coming yesterday. First free throw is good. And that was by number 24. That's Nico Trafton. Second one's good. So 70, 
72-65. It's the biggest lead that we've had by either team yeah, in this two is, games. It's danger time right now for Claremont. They really need a bucket here. Oh, Kramer's going to pull in for a one-handed shot up and go out, and he gets fouled. And he gets good. He gets fouled. Wow. wow. All right, that's big. Foul's going to yeah. be on 24. That'll be on Trampton. That'll be his, that his third. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Dalton Kramer's got the ability to take the contact on shots. He's strong, strong young man, and he gets these shots up even though they're fouling him down low. Ah, free throw's no good. So, so the score is 72-67. What do we got? Something on the floor. Just pick it up. Just pick it up. <laughs> I don't Just know if it's a Band-Aid, it maybe. That yeah, pick it up. maybe that's true. <laughs> Did not know that. That's probably true. <laughs> I, they should be checking the shot clock. It should be 24. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. I <laughs> I think the uh, I think the band aid took a second off the clock there. <laughs> it did. Uh, 72-67, 4:44 to go here in this ball game. You see Claremont trying to get back into it. They do need to stop. So Traft or Trafton has it. And you see Claremont in that zone. Morris has to stay out there on uh, on Bow, and he can't leave him. Got four on the shot clock. Nice. Out by nice Dalton defense. Kramer. Nice defense. Foul right there. He, he wanted to pick up a foul there, and they wouldn't call it. Kramer's going to drive in. Throws ah. a one hand a shot. No good. And it's going to ah. be rebounded by Trafton. So we're still 72-67. Again, they got to get another stop here. Bowen gives it up high. they got 13 on the shot clock. Yeah, don't. Same thing. Don't leave him. Get out there. At the elbow, throws up a shot. No good. Shanks with the rebound, and it's going to be a foul, I believe, on Kramer. No, jump ball. Jump ball. Nice. Possession's going to go to UC Claremont. Wow. That's big. That's big. Now you got it. Runs again. You got to take advantage of that. That's like a turnover right there, so you definitely got to take advantage. Duffy's doing a nice job by staying on Bowen. He's not letting him get those three pointers. So Francois picks up the foul. Or no, not Francois, I'm sorry. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> and it's going to be uh, Morris Duffy up high. Swings it over now to Kramer to Hunter. Hunter playing with four fouls. Throws one nope. up, shot no wow. good. It's going to be rebounded by Francois. So we're down to crunch time here, Tom. 3.24 to go, 72-67 our score. And it's going to be Francois. Watch Bowen trying to shoot one here, Tom. They're just yeah, doing you a got to stay out. Don't yeah. help. They got eight you on the shot clock. out. Get out there. Shakes going to get it out of Bowen. Bowen. Got it. They got three on the shot clock, too. He's going to fire oh, it wow. up. Shot no good. And it's going to be rebounded by Morris Duffy. So good defense by UC Claremont. They're giving them chances to get back in this game right Rose, here. Three-point shot no yeah. good. Just cannot get and it It's going to go. be rebounded by David Hunter. That could have been Hunter. Hunter puts Hunter. it up and in. Been a scoring drought there for a while for UC yeah. Claremont. Finally get on the board here, 72-69. Yeah, Landis has been stuck on 72. They've given him some chances and finally get get a bucket. And it, you know, you're only down three, two and a half minutes to go. That's that's uh that's not a big deal. I'm gonna call a timeout here, so it's gonna make it 72-69, 2.33. Atlantis calls that timeout. Yeah, I mean they've done a really nice job on Bowen here in the second half. They're not leaving him open on the outside and helping. Sagging in on defense and kicking it back out. They're not able to do that right now. And it's Bowen's, stuck, what, eight points this half? He had 14 in the first. Yeah. So they've actually done a really nice job. And three of them have been from the free throw line. So you see trying to do what uh, 
what Atlantis did to them yesterday, UC Claremont had that five-point lead with like three minutes to go and ended up winning the game by five points as UC Claremont just had some silly mistakes in that first game yesterday. Yeah. See if they could turn the tables on them now. Yeah, and like I said, right now it's it's been a struggle on the offensive end for Claremont a little bit, trying to find points. But, uh, you know, right now you take it to the hole. Make them, make them blow the whistle. Give it now to Bowen. Not a walk with that basketball. Oh, that's, oh. that's underneath the back. Isn't that underneath the... Got it inside. Oh, that's, that shot clock. Twenty-four. Oh. 14. Fourteen. Oh wow, that's going the other way. Wow. I think he actually went the wrong direction with it. I think so. Didn't he? Yeah. Oh no, you know why? Because it's back, it sets back at twenty, not thirty. I'm thinking it sets back at thirty. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's just a crap shoot anyways. And Tyus Williams almost had it knocked out of his hands. They got 11 on the shot clock. Giving out to Bowen. Bowen spins, turns, kicks it down low. And throws an off-balance uh, shot. Grab it. Uh, it's going to be a foul. Should be. Either. Oh, wow. That's big. Foul. Yeah, on number 12. As, as Duffy was going for the ball, Williams tied him up, and they called a foul on him. That'll be his second. And we're shooting, right? Yeah. yeah. So more stuff right. will be on the line. He's their big. He's only been there once today, and he missed it. So big, 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 big yeah. free throws. Huge free throws. Yesterday, Morris was 9 of 10 from the free throw line. He might have just jinxed him. So we need to... Uh, we need a couple big ones here. There we go. First one, that's good. It's going to make it a two-point ball game, 72 to 70. They're throwing away. Good. Yeah. That's some big, big free throws. Big for Morris right there. Way to step up and drain those. So they got to have a big defensive stop right here. Looks like we're going to do substitution offense for defense here for Froge. Oh, oh, no. oh, I thought they were going to throw an alley-oop up, put it into oh, Francois. Boy. Nice play. I'm not sure that how, that's how they drew it up yeah, originally, so but. <laughs> oh, bad spot. Giving out a more stop. Ah. Good job by. Come on, guys. Take care of the basketball. The ball was knocked out of bounds. I think that should have went out. It should have went to Atlantis. Barcel's going to come out. Froge is going to come in. Giving out to Froze. Froze acting like he was going to throw a three. <sighs> to Harold. Harold's going to take his powers away. Up and in! What a power move by Noah Harold. Impressive right there. 74 to 73, our score. 121 to go. Let's see what happens on the defense here. No easy buckets underneath. Oh, Kramer nice save! save. Oh, it's going to stay here. Out. Yep. Stays here with UC Claremont. Good hustle Good that. by oh. David Hunter and to, Kramer. And, and Kramer both on that play. What a huge rundown. And, and Hunter waited to see if he was going to die for it. And then he knew he was going to have to match it, and he did. What a great job. But huge bucket by Noah Harold right there on the offensive end. So Noah Harold does come out. Jackson Gregory checks back in. So 74 to 73, our score with 109 here to go in this ball game. Got to be strong with the ball. Get it up now to Duffy. Duffy gets it over to Hunter. Hunter gets it back now to Kramer. Oh, I thought oh, he was yep. fired. I thought he was. God, he's got 11 on his shot. Go inside clock. out. Kramer brings it back. He's going to fight in, throws him a one handed shot. No good. Jackson Gregory, take yeah. it up. Yeah. How about that? Jackson Gregory, what a huge play. 75-74, we got 47 seconds to go. 
Tell me this isn't what you want, second Absolutely. game of the year. This is awesome. Shake's going to bring it down, throws up a shot, goes now, and it's no good. Froze. David Froze with it. Be strong. Oh, no. Oh, come on. How do you call that? You How do you call that? you got to be kidding me. There's no way that's a foul. Unbelievable. That is, that is a bad call. That is horrible. That is absolutely unbelievable call. I did that not. is a bad call. Boy, I'll tell you what. That is. Wow. What a call. I don't Man. even know what to say. <laughs> But you got to you got to put it out of your mind, though. You know you got to get it out of your mind. There's 30 seconds left. You got a one point lead. You gotta you gotta let that go as quickly as you can. You can't worry about that. I it's I understand, but you you gotta re, you gotta focus. I mean I, I don't I, I didn't even see him swing an elbow. I think uh, I, I mean I would clearly think that you're gonna see. A two-man game with Bowen and oh, Shakes here yep. doing something, you know, from from outside in. Uh, they like Shakes running that baseline and Bowen dumping it down into him. But you, once again, you can't leave Anthony Bowen open on the three-point line. You just can't do it. You cannot. So we've only got 29 seconds left to go in this game. 75-74. You see Claremont holding on to that one-point lead, and as Alanis calls a timeout, like you said. Trying to see if they can go with a two-man game here between Bowen and also, uh, like you said, Shakes. Yeah, so so defensively for Claremont, David Hunter has four fouls. Everybody else is fine. So David Hunter could be the, the only – but with 30 seconds left, you know, you got to take what you can get. You know, if you, gotta, if you have to foul, you have to foul. Just got to cover up the middle here. You don't want anything easy right down the lane for an easy basket. And number 12, watch number 12, Tyus Williams, fighting for position down here on the block. Yep. You got Francois, Francois in the corner. Yeah. They got 29. They're going to give it to Bowen. Now back to Landon. They are going to try to go to Bowden and Shakes, I believe. Yeah, they definitely want to get that ball to Bowen, no question. <laughs> Look at David Hunter staying on him. Yes, and it gets stolen. Oh, almost stolen. Three on the side. Two. One. And it's going to be. Yeah, they got a charge. What a great defensive job Jackson by Jackson Gregory. Gregory. Huge tip in on this end. Huge charge taken on the other end. Jackson Gregory, two monster plays here in the last 40 seconds. What a great job. Jackson Gregory stepping up. Huge. Now we can't have any turnovers here. Yeah, you got to – you obviously want to get the ball in David Froze's hands or Morris Duffy, in my opinion. Come on, right there. Give it to him. Yep. Called a yes. foul right off the bat by Bowen. They got it inside to David Froge, and that's the guy that you want to be shooting. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, he is definitely your number one option no matter what. And, and then I, I Kramer? Kramer or Duffy. Duffy's been, yeah. you know, 9 of 10 yesterday. He's 2 of 3 today. So, you I know. Mean, I, I hate to say it, but all the ones that you don't want is maybe David Hunter. Right. Shooting. I mean, I, yeah, everybody I would agree else with seems you. like they, you're pretty decent at yeah. free throws. Yeah, it's a good execution right there by Claremont to get it in David's hands. So Froge will be shooting a free throw for his free throw. <sighs> As I say that, oh, this is the first free throw. Wow, you don't see that very often. Come on. So Froge will be on the line for a second free throw. Yeah. He makes All right. Second. All right. All right, 9.6 to go. I would say Bowen. Nobody gets behind you here. So Coach Ellis didn't like what was going on. He called a timeout. 
So they're going to call a full timeout. 76-74 our score with 9.6 seconds to go. I didn't go. see who was taking the ball out for them. Was I didn't it Shakes? I, didn't I think see it. it was Shakes. And I, I definitely would, would think he's trying to get it to Bowen originally and, and uh, look for a two-man game between those two coming down. But, oh, man, how huge was that charge by Jackson Gregory? I, well, I, what, what move I liked was them putting a David Hunter on Bowen. Yeah. That was huge because yeah. Bone wasn't he ready for him. that. He pushed yeah. him out here almost to the mid-circle. That way he wasn't ready for that. Yeah. Yeah, so good job by Claremont down the stretch here. Now you just got to finish it off. And uh, once again, David Hunter with four fouls. He's the only one to, that's in any jeopardy, but with nine seconds left, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. For, uh, for Atlantis, you got Francois with four. And he's the only one. So, and I believe they're coming. They're going to have Shakes, Francois, Bowen, William, Tyus Williams, and I think probably Nico Landon. Yep. So, so for UC Claremont, you got Barksdale, Hunter, Morris Duffy, you got Kramer, and you got Jackson Gregory. See how they spread this out. Who's going to be guarding uh, Bowen? Give it now quickly. They Stay, got on seven Morris. Seven Stay on him, Morris. Stay on him, Morris. Don't clock. leave him. Don't Take leave him. He's going to throw up a oh. shot. No, shot. No good. That's exactly. Oh, that's throws a foul. A shot. No good. Yes. Yes. And you, yes, oh, sir. We just, got un- we just got unplugged. We just got unplugged. We're unplugged. What the hell? We got unplugged. Oh, shit. Shit. We got unplugged. I don't know. We're not on right now. No. No, but we're, we lost our... We lost our... Oh, shit. Nothing's undone. Unbelievable. Oh, I don't. I don't know what happened. There's nothing. It's on this the- one right here. We just blew it. How about now? Oh, there, oh, there we go. Like power wise? Yeah, it just got popped. Someone hit it. All right, so I we apologize. Awesome. We, apo- we we're back on. We apologize. Uh, uh, someone jumped up front here and hit the cord. We apologize. So <laughs> you see, Claremont ends up winning that game. <coughs> hey. So we lost. We lost it there. They, uh, they finished. Yeah, they did. You, you talked about it. They were down five yeah. okay. with three minutes to go, and you hey, said. Straight to the <laughs> <laughs> Coach Ellis, uh, hey. huge, huge win. But, you know, what's, hey, Steve, you know what's so funny? I don't know if someone ran out and hit our plug <laughs> and it got unplugged, so we lost the last seconds of uh, that exciting ending there. <laughs> I, I think you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think we, so, so, so we were talking about on air. Talking about on air about uh, how we needed to do flip the tables on them. They did it. You in the last three minutes. You guys did the same thing on them in the last two minutes. Yeah. What a way to end that game. What a, what a great great team win for us. I mean that's an unbelievable opponent. Yeah. They, guys, no no kidding. They, they should be playing higher, much higher. Right. You know. But it was a great team. I mean we, we we had less turnovers than we did yesterday. We learned and then we executed at the end. On both ends. Yep. On the defensive end. What a great Jackson stand that Gregory. was. Well, I, I tell you what. Good move putting David Hunter in here on Bowen. Yeah. That was huge. And it forced it down. And then Jackson Gregory right. taking the charge. Yeah, yeah. David Hunter and, and Morris take away those guys. And when you're, if they're going to tie it up, make it with somebody else. And luckily the shot didn't go in. Yeah. So, and I'll tell you what. Dalton Kramer yeah. was on fire there. He had, How about I think, that stretch? Six, unbelievable. <laughs> he had six to eight points. But yeah. uh, you got to be super happy. Two games with a very good opponent. And – you could have beat him again yesterday, but you I didn't. And we were right so, there. So that's huge. No, I, I am so happy because, I mean, that's a high level. They were in the national tournament last yeah. year, and, and I can't say enough about hey, our effort back-to-back days. Yep. All right. It's going to help our RPI ratings. Yeah, you don't, you don't have time to, to rest because now, <laughs> no. you, now you play uh, Wednesday oh. against another big team. Oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're going to see how that goes. We're the little giants. How's that? Yeah, but, Steve, you got to be happy. Great, great yeah. win. You're going to have someone come over here and talk? Yeah, Dalton. All right, talk to Dalton Kramer. All right, All right so All right, that's talk great. about him. All right. Hey, thank you guys. All right, good Appreciate job it. there. Yeah. Put that on. Yeah. 
All right, we're joined by Dalton Kramer. Dalton, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, played your first college game yesterday, and I'll tell you what, this team, we, we've been doing these games for a very, very long time. I don't know if you understand the teams that you that you just played today. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the better teams you're probably going to face all year long, and maybe Wednesday. But you have to be really happy. Uh, you were on a run there where you made a couple three-pointers, a big basket, uh, but it's, it's a huge win today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you know, I'd have a little bit more if I could make my free throws. I think I'm two for seven. <laughs> 